Hello everyone, whether you're watching live in the Build and Bloom Photography Facebook group or you're watching over on YouTube, I am so excited about this week's live stream because we have Rebecca at Narrative, which you have heard me talk about Narrative all every like every week. They have so many fantastic different um, features and today we're going to be talking about or different programs and today we're going to be talking about narrative select which is a tool that will cut your photography workflow in half it is a tool that um, you use for culling your photos so culling means you are selecting the images which you want to edit and this task is usually the most boring of all in the workflow process it takes the longest and it's very tedious especially if you are culling within lightroom you have to wait for your images to load you have to import them and that can take forever but with narrative select they've changed the game so rebecca i'm so happy that you're here let's jump right into it yeah thank you for having me jessica yeah, as Jessica kind of said, culling is super tedious um, and she kind of talks about why you need a dedicated culling tool, but if you're culling in Lightroom, you're just making the process so much longer for yourself because it's so much slower. So that's the main reason why you should have a dedicated culling tool and the dedicated culling tool we have is Narrative Select. So yeah i'm going to give you a little demo today of how it works and how it could work for you so i will share my screen cool i think it should be showing now Perfect. so this is what select looks like when you open it up so you just create a project so you come here you can choose a folder of raw images you already have on your computer here um or if there's, a, if there's an SD card, you can import it directly. So you just hit that and you can name it um, and it will load instantly. So you can import thousands of photos, five, six, 7,000 from a wedding and it will just load the same, <laughs> will load really fast. So yeah, the project, yeah, open here that I thought I'd demo. Um, so yeah, importing is really fast and then going through and rating your images. So everyone does this process slightly differently um, and whatever works for you is totally fine. I just tend to rate my keepers with a one star and the starring rating system is the same as it is in Lightroom or Photo Mechanic. So if you are coming from there, it should feel familiar to you. So. Yeah, if you go ahead and you go through, you're just using your left and right arrows. It is super fast, so it will load instantly. Um, and you can just rate the ones you want to edit with a star or color like that. Um, the first thing you're probably noticing is these indicators that come up underneath the subject's faces. So this is the AI element of select. So just stand alone. It's a really fast culling tool. If you didn't use any of our AI features, it would still be faster than going through in Lightroom. Yeah. But some other things that speed it up first up is, yeah, these eye and focus assessments. So I don't know when you're culling, if you've ever culled in Lightroom and you kind of go through and you second guess whether someone's in focus and then you zoom in and you zoom out and then you do it again, it just wastes time. So here, these assessments will tell you whether the subjects are in or out of focus and if their eyes are open or closed. So here you can see it's all green. So green means good. Yellow is like partially out of focus or eyes partially closed. And red is like completely out of focus, eyes completely closed. So yeah, here we can just see straight away the in focus, the eyes are open. So I'd probably rate it. And then you can go through here. And here we've got an eyes closed. And yeah, as we go through, you can see eyes closed again. Got a red bar here for out of focus. So that kind of gives you an idea. You don't have to go through and like zoom in to work it out. Select will tell you. Mm -hmm. And then the second part of this is called image assessment. So this is when it will apply a warning to the image itself. So you can see here, it's got this red exclamation mark. And what Select does is it analyzes your images based on scenes. So 
is seen as a set of similar images. So we can see this um, shot here of the couple in the field. It's all pretty similar. It's all the same scene. And it goes through and it works out what the worst images are in this scene. So it's based on things like eye and focus, but it will never flag your whole scene. So if you shot intentionally out of focus, it's never going to put red warnings on all of them. It assesses them all against each other, if that makes sense. So here, this has got a warning because her eyes are completely closed, whereas this one, they're both their eyes are open and they're looking at the camera. So it's saying this one is worse than the other images you've got in the scene here. And what is quite helpful is if you come up to your filter bar up the top here, um, you can just choose to show images with no warning. So if you just want to go through and color your images really quickly, you don't want to see your worst images. If you just hit this in the filter bar, it's going to hide all the images with warnings on them. So this means that you're then still left with about 70% of your shoot to go through, but it's a lot less. And then you can just focus on choosing the images with the least issues, essentially. If at any point you want to see them again, you can just unhide them. And I think the coolest thing here is that the software is not trying to tell you what your best image is. It's just trying to help you decide what your best image is faster. Um, because we believe that's your job as artists. It's very subjective what the best image is. So yeah, we're just, just trying to make it a lot faster for you. Um, and then the next part of this is, let me go down to a group shot. Group shots are very tedious at weddings or events or anything like that, where you're trying to get a shot of everyone looking good um, or looking at the camera. So if you hit the forward slash on your keyboard, you'll be able to see a close-up crop of all the faces that are in the shot. The AI assessments will come onto this panel as well, so you can quickly see if they're in or out. There we go. Um, and that, yeah, you can just see them all really quickly. When, I, when you have a lot of group shots, something I find helpful to do is to just look at the colors here. Because generally, like say with family portraits or group shots at events, you just want everyone looking at the camera, eyes open, in focus. Um, and so if everything's green here, you know that that's what's being achieved. And then all you have to do is really quickly look at expression. Um, so yeah, when you have heaps of group shots to go through, you can get through them really fast with this feature. You can see here, we've got some red, so we straight away know that their eyes are closed. So yeah, you can also just hit the forward slash key at any point and use your up and down arrows. And that will be able to flick through the faces without having to use your mouse. Um, so I also find that quite helpful. And then once you've gone through you've rated your images that you love and you want to edit, all you do is you hit the shift button on the top right hand corner and you can ship to Lightroom, Capture One and you can choose your catalog. You can also create a new catalog right here. So if you create a new catalog for each shoot, it's really easy to do that. And then you can choose what images you want to ship. And when you click ship, it will open up Lightroom it will have these images selected and then you can import them straight into Lightroom. Um, yeah, a few things to note is that it is writing metadata to the original raw file. Um, so the ratings will carry across into Lightroom. So you can also just, you just quit out of select and you came back later. You could just open up Lightroom and import this folder like normal and all the ratings will be there. You can also if you filter to show your rated images, you can um, copy them to a new folder if you like to collect, if you like to keep your selected images in a new folder. You can also just drag and drop them into Lightroom. So there's a few ways to get them to Lightroom based on your workflow. So yeah, that's the main parts of it. Um, the last thing is select is free. So if you if you want to 
just create um, pro like six projects a month. That's completely free. So you can do six projects a month with all the features completely free. If you want to do more than that, you can upgrade to our pro plan, which is $150 a year. Or if you still want to do more projects, but you don't want to pay, you can just um, the six projects, the projects after your six project limit just won't have the AI features. So there's a couple of options there for every type of photographer, hopefully. So yeah, that is pretty much it. It's so amazing how simple it is and just how much time it really does save. Um, I love my totally. favorite part of it is that I'm able to import like 3000 images where they're about 45, 50 um, megabytes each and 3000 photos in like four, five, six seconds max, have them import. And then you can, yeah, toggle between without having to wait for it to load. Even if you have a computer that's really full on space because you have so many images and just things stored on it it doesn't matter. It still allows you to toggle between quickly. Whereas with Lightroom, if your computer is short on storage where you, you know, you have maybe like a baseline Mac where you have like the, the minimum, whatever Ram stuff, you can yeah. still use narrative select and toggle between without any wait time. Like you do probably experience in Lightroom. I have that happen in Lightroom and it just takes forever to call because of all of that waiting and the importing. And so it just makes the process so much faster. So if you guys are interested, it's in the description of YouTube and here on Facebook, it's in the caption of this live stream and you can get narrative select for totally free, but you need to use the link in the description of this YouTube video or the caption on Facebook groups. Yay. So simple. I'm like anything else. That's, that's basically it. It's so simple and easy to use. I really encourage you guys to give it a go because it is going to speed up your workflow. And something that's awesome about it is it doesn't, it's not a big learning curve to use. It's so simple no. and intuitive. So you're able to instantly like apply it to your business. It's not like other calling programs where it feels very outdated or tedious or their plugins within Lightroom. This is calling for the 21st century, thank God, because all the others feel like they're stuck in 1703. This is so fast, <laughs> intuitive, easy to use, and you can get it for free. So give it a go. It's linked down below and in the caption if you're watching over on Facebook. It's so simple. I'm so excited for you guys to give it a go. Yay. Amazing. Well, that, that's it, you guys. It took us 15 minutes <laughs> to go through it. So easy. Thank you so much, Rebecca, for giving us the demo demonstration. Um, and just for, I, I mean, everything that Narrative comes out with, all of the software is so amazing. And Narrative Select is the perfect place for you guys to start. Yeah. And if you guys have any questions, like feel free to drop them below in the comments and I can jump in and help answer anything. Um, but yeah, hope you guys love it. Perfect. Amazing. Thank you so much, Rebecca. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Bye.